What an idiot. The Scottish midge is incredible. I can't believe how nice the weather is. It's just gorgeous. Like, I mean, the north of Scotland, so in the Highlands, it's about 25 degrees. Actually, my uh, thermometer is reading 26 degrees. The blue skies, gorgeous. I'm going to meet a another YouTuber and photographer. Um, you may know him, you may not know him, but his YouTube channel is called Scotland's Mountains, and he does the, he does the most amazing epic hikes and wild camps and. And he just has, seems to have endless adventures. So I'm looking forward to hanging out with him. He's called Murray, getting to know him. And yeah, we're gonna go hiking and camping. He's also a photographer. So yeah, it's just gonna be a couple of days of enjoying this weather, a bit of remote wild camping, and hopefully lots of landscape photography. So I am speeding. <laughs> Fingers crossed for some good photography though. That's what we're really here for. And hopefully that's what we're gonna get. Okay, so I've arrived, I've met Murray, otherwise known as uh, Scotland's Mountains on YouTube, check out his channel here. Um, yeah, very excited, the weather's just gorgeous, there's a bit of a breeze, I'm hoping that breeze is going to die down, especially after the last night when I could barely walk because of the wind, which was just ridiculous. Um, but yeah, we are on the Applecross Peninsula in the northwest of Scotland, and it's gorgeous. I'm going to pack my bag and all of my gear, I need to take enough food, water, clothing and camera gear and batteries and everything for two nights. So we're doing a pretty big hike over two days and I'm very much looking forward to it. So this has been a, a beautiful walk, um, really nice, really nice evening. Well, I've got to say, I was, uh, I was a bit confused when Murray told us where we were going. So he said we were going to camp on a beach for the first night. And then he showed me the map of where we're going up in the Scottish mountains. And I thought there's no beaches up there. But it turns out, there is a beach, and it's right there. And that is going to be our campsite for tonight. We've got a lovely Loch Ann here, surrounded by beautiful mountains. We've got some great high altitude clouds. So I'm hopeful that there's going to be uh, some colour in the sky. Very, very hopeful. No, hopeful is the wrong word. word. Um, hoping, rather, that the wind's going to drop and we get some reflections in the Loch Ann here. Um, so, if everything plays ball, then we could be on for a gorgeous evening. Um, if not, no big deal, um, we have tomorrow as well. So yeah, I'm gonna go to that beach there and set up camp.
So that is camp all set up now, and um, ah, it's lovely. Got a cup of tea, got myself a nice chicken curry ready to go. Only problem is I forgot my spoon. What an idiot. So, I'm either gonna have to use this tent peg or borrow Murray's spoon after he's used it, which I think he's kindly going to lend me. Of course, I'll wash it, don't worry. Um, but yeah, it's nice. The wind has really dropped now, which is so good because that means we're gonna get, hopefully gonna get reflections in the Lochan, but it's also so bad because of the midges, the Scottish midge, it's incredible. Um, I have got midge repellent on, but it's only working, you know, it's sort of half working. Um, so I'm gonna have my dinner, finish my tea, and then go about looking for some compositions. Yeah, what a lovely day so far. Really nice day. So we are now going for a little walk over to this hill here. In fact, not this hill, you go over this hill, down and then up another hill, because, well, why would anything ever be that easy? Um, and we're just looking for nice views. Um, the sky looks phenomenal. You know, I can't see what's behind this mountain here. So I don't know if there are cloud, clouds out to the west, uh, no idea. But if it's clear, then all of this sky all of it's going to light up. It's going to be beautiful. Uh, there are a few fires as well. It could be peat fires, I'm not sure. Um, so there's a lot of smoke and haze in the atmosphere. And that could work for us as well, because all of those fires seem to be to the east. So it's going to be interesting, but as it stands, I, uh, I don't have a composition in mind. That's what we're doing now. But I'm just thinking, you know, no messing around here, nothing clever. Just gonna find a nice view, mountains, sky, little Loch Ann in the background maybe, I don't know. Or um, well, perhaps a panoramic of the mountains over towards the east, we'll see. Yeah, lovely evening. And I'll see you back when I'm getting my camera all set up, fingers crossed. Well, that didn't take long at all. <laughs> Came up the hill, dropped down, back over, and look at this, that, it's just gorgeous. Now, it does look like a cloud inversion here. It looks like the beginnings of cloud inversion, but I actually think it's just smoke from a peat fire over there. It's beautiful, perfectly still reflections. There's definitely a composition here, and I'm gonna, kind of hoping that all of the sky lights up. It's gonna be gorgeous. But, you know, I'm not gonna get my tripod out just yet. I'm gonna have to walk around, and look for other possible compositions, but Oh, after how windy it was on Green Gable in my last video, this is just a real pleasure, an absolute joy. Ah, so we're now about 15, 10, 15 minutes from sunset and the sun is actually setting over behind me here. Um, it's, it's, it's okay. I'm still, I'm not quite sure what's gonna happen if I'm completely honest, um, but I've got my camera set up here on this beautiful Loch Ann with the grasses coming out of the water and then this beautiful sort of ridge of mountains or line of mountains across here. It uh, looks superb. I'm a bit disappointed. The smoke in the valley seems to be dissipating. It's, it was a lot more refined about half an hour ago. Uh, you know, with like a straight edge like you would expect of a cloud inversion. But I think obviously that's to do with the wind and the pressure You're sort of whipping it up. So it still looks nice, but I thought it looked better really, of course. Uh, the lighting wasn't great then. So yeah, I've, I, I'm just happy with this one composition. I walked around, I didn't find anything else really worth shooting. Uh, certainly nothing that was better than this. Um, 
and I've decided on a 16-9 crop um, with the lock on right in the foreground so I, initially I had my camera much further up this hill so I was further back away from the lock on but the foreground wasn't great it's a bit, a bit boggy a bit muddy you know not very nice and I quite like just the clean approach of the grasses coming out of the water and then the nice mountains in the background and we'll see what happens with the sky so I was actually I, I've put on my uh, Lee foundation filter holder with the intention of dropping in maybe a two-stop medium edge graduated filter but of course looking at the scene I just did it automatically I wasn't really thinking um, and then when I looked at the scene it's completely balanced it doesn't need a graduated filter uh, sometimes I just sort of go into autopilot without giving it a second thought um, but yeah looking at the scene it doesn't even need a filter which is a good job because mine are scratched to shit. I'm gonna have to get some new ones I think <sighs> come on sunset nearly time nearly time So the sky has been gorgeous this evening, it's over to the west where the sun's been setting, there's been so much colour and for a long time that colour never made it over in the direction that I was photographing. It was so frustrating because my scene was just really flat and bluey grey and not much going on and it just seemed to be getting worse and worse. But we decided we were going to stick around and wait to see what happens long after sunset. And finally, finally the clouds over here are catching and there are lovely, lovely hues of pinks and purples and it's just so nice in my composition. Uh, so I'm so happy because like I said before I didn't think it was going to happen and I was banking on tomorrow morning. But now that the colours finally happen long after the sun has set I'm able to take this photograph. So I'm shooting this at f11 with a two second timer because of the shaky boggy ground and I'm shooting this at about 35 mil and it's giving me an exposure time of one second so I'm going to grab this shot it's it's nice I think it could be better and tomorrow morning it might be better but I am certainly more than happy with this photograph um, and I will sleep well tonight and then I guess I'll come back tomorrow morning shoot this scene again before making the massive hike up to that beast behind us. So, F11, one second exposure, the shot to end the day, perfect.